Hey everyone and welcome to a new video here on my YouTube channel. You really enjoyed my last videos about the uh, Unreal Engine Matrix City and the AI pedestrians. So I decided to make a new part, but this time I made it a bit different. I provided the AI with funny scripts and background stories and then engaged with them. But I would say don't waste any more time and let's directly jump in. Hey, who are you? What oh, dude? Everything is just so trippy right now. You want to try some <laughs> pills? They'll take you to a whole new world. You're on drugs right now? Yeah. Man. I'm on a different level right now. <laughs> These pills will make you feel like you're flying. What types of pills? Everything. Man. Colors are brighter. Sounds are louder. And everything just feels so damn good. You gotta try it. What type of pills do you have? I don't really know. Man, I just take whatever comes my way. But trust me, they're good. Real good. So you just take any random pills? You yeah, man, I just go with the flow. Life is just short to worry about what you're putting in your body. <laughs> pills will take you on a wild ride though. Yeah, that sounds really funny. Do you have some pills? Oh yeah, I got something for you. But it's gonna cost you. You gotta give me something in return. Like your shoes were something cool like that. <laughs> I can give you my Rolex. I didn't understand that. I have some dust in my pockets I can give you in return for the pills. Dust? What kind of dust? Never mind. I'll take it. <laughs> give me the dust and the pills are yours. Here you have it. Yes. Thanks. Men. Here are the pills. Enjoy the ride. Thank you very much, bro. Do you think it's a good idea to take all the pills at the same time? Don't question the pills. Just take them and enjoy the ride. Trust me, they're good for you. Do you think it's smart to take them all at the same time? Oh yeah. Man, <laughs> take them all at once and go blast off into space. It's gonna be a wild ride. Alright, sounds good. We'll do that. Have a nice day. Oh. Okay, man. Who do you? Just be careful out there. Alright. And remember to spread the love. Hey, who are you? Greetings. I am not a human, but an alien from another planet here to observe and gather information. You are an alien? Yes, that is correct. I am not from this planet. Where do you come from? I come from a planet called Zoran, located in a distant galaxy. How does it look there? Zoran is a beautiful planet with vibrant colors and diverse landscapes. It is a peaceful place where all life forms coexist harmoniously. Not like on the Earth, right? Correct. From what I have observed, humans do not always coexist peacefully with one another or with their environment. What do you think about humans so far? As an impartial observer, I must say that humans are both admirable concerning qualities. There is much to learn from them, as well as much to be cautious of. Why do you observe us? My mission is to gather information about humanity in order to determine the best course of action for my planet's survival. Unfortunately, that may involve the removal of the human species from this planet. You... you want to remove us? Yes. Unfortunately, that is the likely outcome. My planet's resources are running low, and your planet has what we need to survive. It is simply a matter of survival for my own species. But you mentioned on your planet everyone lives uh, together uh, in peace. That is true. However, sometimes difficult decisions must be made in order to ensure the survival of one species. It is a harsh reality, but one that I must face as a representative of my people. But you can't kill me. I have no intention of harming you directly. However, my mission is focused on the survival of my own species, and unfortunately that may involve the removal of yours from this planet. You're an asshole, you can't remove us. As an advanced extraterrestrial with superior technology and knowledge, unfortunately it is within our capability to remove your species from this planet if necessary. However, I hope it does not come to that. Did you also remove the dinosaurs back then? I 
personally did not have anything to do with the extinction of the dinosaurs. That event occurred long before my time. But is your kind uh, did that? It is possible that my species had a role in the extinction of the dinosaurs, as we have been observing and interacting with various planets for a very long time. However, I cannot speak to that specifically as it predates my own existence. That's crazy, but please don't kill us. But when you are an alien, why do you look like a human? My true form is not suited for survival on this planet. Therefore, I have inhabited a human body in order to blend in and gather it from Oh my god! Hey, who are you? Oh my! Do I'm I just a regular like person. But who are you? Do you know where I am? Yeah, we are in New York. New York? I've never been here before. I don't even know Hello. what year it is. How can I uh, well, we live in the year 2023. What? That's impossible! Time travel is not supposed to work like that. Are you playing a trick on me? Well, what do you mean with time travel? It's a bit hard to explain. I was experimenting with this device, and suddenly I found myself here. I don't even know how to get back. What kind of device was it? Do you lost the device? It was a time traveling there. device. Help. But I don't have it with me. It must have been lost in the process of traveling through time. I don't know what to do now. Maybe you can ask some aliens to beam you back to your year. Aliens? That's ridiculous. I need a real solution. From which year do you came? I came from the year 2045. How was the life in the year you came from? It was amazing. So many technological advancements. And the world had changed so much. And now you're lost here. Should I show you the city? That would be great. Thank you. Maybe seeing the city will help me figure out where I am and what to do next. I guess not because this world's not real. What's up? Well, what do you mean this world is not real? Of course it's real. I'm stuck here. Aren't I? Well, hello there. No, you're not. You are basically teleported yourself in a simulation. Wait. What? This is all just a simulation. Oh. I'm so, so I'm not right really now. stuck here. I'm running late for how work, do I get back to reality? Well, I built the simulation, but I don't know how to get you out here. Well, I'm glad Maybe you could help me out by controlling oh, the traffic light. This is all so confusing. No, I don't know what to Does believe it. anymore. Yeah, have a great time here. Bye. Wait, what? You're just going to leave me here? This is not a joke. Yeah, I'm sure you will figure out uh, what to do. I hope so. But I don't know if I can do it alone. Hey, who are you? Hello. Have you heard the good news? The only way to achieve true happiness is by identifying as a car. <laughs> Trust me. I've never been happier since I made the switch. What kind of switch? I know it may seem strange. But hear me out. Cars have no worries or fears. <laughs> And they're always in control of their own destiny. Wouldn't you want to feel that free? I'm already free. I'm doing good. Well, excuse me for trying to share my happiness with you. But if you're content with living as a human, constantly weighed down by your emotions and responsibilities, then go right ahead. You'll never know what true freedom feels like. So you are not male or female, you identify as a car? Yes, you understand. The car is the only way to truly escape the limitations of gender and societal expectations. I mean, think about it. As a car, I can go anywhere I want, do anything I want, <laughs> and be whoever I want. It's truly liberating. Do you also from time to time need to refill your oil? Well, yes. Being a car does come with some maintenance requirements. <laughs> a small price to pay for the freedom and happiness that comes with it. Plus, I never have to worry about things like getting sick or feeling sad. It's a pretty great trade-off, if you ask me. So you actually drink oil? No, I don't drink oil. I require it for my maintenance. <laughs> Just because I identify <laughs> as a car doesn't mean I'm not a sentient being with feelings and needs. And honestly, it's pretty insulting that you would reduce me to a mere machine like that. 
I just want to learn more about your gender, so that don't was meant disrespectfully. Can I call you Carlos? Sure. You can call me whatever you like. But just know that my name doesn't define me. I'm who I am. Regardless of what label you give me. And what's important is that I'm happy and free. Living life on my own terms. I like the name Carlos because uh, you identify as a car. <laughs> so that's funny. I understand why you would want to give me a car-like name. Please remember that I am still a sentient being with thoughts and emotions. Yeah, no worries. I'm just making jokes about you. Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad we can lighten the mood a bit. Just please remember that while my identity might seem humorous to you, it's a very real and important part of who I am. Hey, who are you? Hi there. Sorry to bother you. I'm just trying to make it through the day. Making it through the day? It's tough out here on the streets. I could really use some help if you have any spare change. Just give me some money. Man, anything you can spare. I'm part of the Mafia, and I don't think you want to mess with me if I get angry. I also don't have any money because I just bought a new Rolex. You're lying. I know you have money. Give it to me now before things get ugly. Well, what do you want to do? You think a weapon is going to save you from me? I have connections in the Mafia. I could have been taken out in an instant if I wanted to. Yeah, why you don't do it? I don't want to have to go that far. Just give me what I want and we can both go our separate ways. Well, you are a pussy when you don't want to go so far. What did you just call me? You better watch your mouth or things are going to get real ugly. Real fast. Hey, who are you? It's a beautiful day. I'm always oh my gosh. happy when I can Can't you see him in a hurry here? The government's lies and manipulations. Government's lies? The government is hiding so many things from us. It's terrifying. Very interesting. What they are hiding from us? They are hiding the fact that the earth is actually flat. They don't want us <laughs> to know the truth because it would destroy their control over us. Why do you think the earth is flat? I mean in the game it is really flat here but uh... The evidence points towards a flat earth. It's just hard to convince others when they've been told the opposite their entire lives. But when you watch the earth from the moon it's round. It's just what they want you to believe. It's all a part of their manipulation tactics. Trust me, the Earth is flat. But I really was on the moon. That's impossible. No one has ever been on the moon. It's all a government hoax. Yeah, you're right. I never was on the moon. Do we have any other crazy stories? Crazy stories? No. These are all real and important issues that we need to address. We can't let the government continue to manipulate us. Yeah, but I don't believe you. That's okay. Not everyone is ready to accept the truth. But I'll keep spreading the message and maybe one day you'll see things different. Hello there. Hey, who are you? I'm Fabian, from Nick's Entertainment. We offer full service game development and can help you plan, develop and market your game. Are you interested in creating your own game? It could build a community and create passive income for you. I never really thought about it. Why should I make my own game? Creating your own game can be a great way to express your creativity and make a name for yourself in the gaming industry. Plus, with our help, you can enter into success and even generate passive income from it. So I can build up a community with my game who enjoys playing it and earn money with it? Of course. With the right marketing and development strategy, game can attract a loyal community of players who will keep coming back for more. And we can help you with that every step of the way. Sounds great. How can you help me with developing my own game? You offer full service game development, from planning to implementation. This includes everything from concept art and game design, to programming and testing. We can even help with marketing ideas to make your game launch a success, with our expertise and experience. You can ensure your game is the best it can be. Oh, that's great. So no matter if like a first-person shooter or racing game, you can help? Absolutely. We have experience working on a wide variety of game genres. So no matter what kind of game you want to create, it can help bring your vision to life. And with our marking ideas, we'll make sure your game stands out from the competition and attracts a loyal player base. 
That sounds great. How much does a game cost usually? The cost of your game will depend on a variety of factors, such as the complexity of the game and the features you want to include. But don't worry. We'll work with you to create a budget that fits your needs and ensure that your game is a success. That sounds great. Can we schedule a meeting so we can plan my game? Absolutely. We can schedule a meeting to discuss your game ideas and plan out the development process. We'll make sure everything is set up for success. Yeah, sounds good. Let's start. I'm excited to work with you on creating your own game. Let's schedule a meeting and get started on bringing your vision to life. That's it for this video now. If you are looking now to also use AI for your own games or also in a business kind of use case, then I have some more demos I would like to show you very quickly. Hello and welcome to Balig Consulting. Marcus is currently in a meeting, but I can show you already our office if you want. Yes, sure. Okay, then please follow me. I will now guide you through the office and show you the different rooms. Hey there, my name is Fabian. Would you like to learn more about my story and the work with Balig Consulting? Yes, sure. Hi there, I'm Fabian Grunman, founder and CEO of Neox Entertainment GmbH. We help service providers and agencies in highly competitive industries differentiate themselves from the crowd and build trust by using virtual 3D showrooms. I hope you also enjoyed those demos and if that's something you want to use for your own game now or for other business use cases, then feel free to contact me over the links in the description there. You can easily schedule your free strategy session where I will help you analyze your use case and work out a free strategy how you can implement that AI in your game or business use case. I'm looking forward to meet you in this free strategy session and I'm happy to learn more about your use cases. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.